Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a game that I have had on my radar for quite some time now and it officially released in the early part of November. So I'm very excited to check this out with you. It is called The Invincible. Now this game is based on a 1968 Polish novel by the same name. So it'll be very story driven, uh, beautiful art styles. It is based in space, which is near and dear to my heart. Um, so with the overall vibe of this game, I will not be having my cam on because I really want to be immersed in this and feel like we're watching a movie together. So with that being said, buckle in and let's get into it. The Dragonfly, a small research unit of the Interplanetary Commonwealth with a crew of six, travels the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there is one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, Astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare, extremely valuable mineral himself. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The Astrogator's accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set a course home. Victorious, they set course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chamber. anyone there? Uh, Cobble? Marit? Uh, uh, hey, this is Yasna. I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. Oh. I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. hear you anymore my receiver worked for a moment but now there's only silence
just like I thought. Nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. See if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the reset cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. It's my blackout the side effect of metabolic depression. That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one... Just me. Took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. He must be somewhere near. Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. An object I called Needle. That rope. I, I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. resembles the eye of a needle. We have the first one. I need one more. Hey, crocodile. Where are you? That has an interesting shape of a crocodile indeed. Report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. Dropped equipment. I must have hit the ground pretty hard. 
a metal detector. Dr. Gorski, you won't be pleased. More equipment to repair. The detector's dead. Which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. I have something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Track the beacon. Ah. <gasps> I think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? Reservoir. Getting warmer. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. not allow the biosynosis to fall. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. I was about to. Already awake. Good. So so, fine, I guess. Hmm. You're still groggy. Stay put, all right? Doctor Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. want to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Pavel, will you help me here? <sighs> sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. Come on. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Bathing chamber in 15 minutes. Just can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it, and remember.
found it. Look for me on your trackers. Time to lose. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. Bottom's out of sight. Best not to overthink it. to go. Just need to get down from here. The escarpment is about ten meters high. It looks like I could slide down. On second thoughts. Maybe not. The last thing I need now is an injury. I could secure a rope here, true, but... Um... For some reason, I don't have one with me.
A return to the first descent. <sighs> I'm tired of searching. Less than ideal. But I'm okay. The suit's fine too. Visibility could be better. happened where are... I was heading to impossible I'm much closer to my destination I must have walked for some time condition every step is a strain oh, I don't want to whine but if you come here it will be so much easier for me are heavy and Bill is not inviting legs become too heavy hands become too weary oh, it's not that scary I remember you Regis third satellite Astrogator, sir. Crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. 
Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. Uh, wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? Virtually zero. The word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps are. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway... We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analyses? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm hmm Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. 
Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not our debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot. Androbot, follow my instructions. A Androbot? <sighs> ah, Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. position I don't know what's wrong with you buddy but you clearly don't want to cooperate Hated Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. Pupils oh. respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, doctor? 
Echinacea, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor. But it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of the disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests and focal plate tomography of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Krauter. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. It's not a mission log, but... It will do. Dr. Krauter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector, to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around. Okay, checked. I'm leaving the tent. Unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Hmm. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Dr. Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novick? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the 
We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? We come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple longing that speaks to me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but... Uh... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Koval, where are you going? Over. For a little... Broken the water. Uh, switching to manual. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Thanks. Are you there? Uh, a recce. 300. More like a quick ciggy. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Uh, No, no, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. Damn me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Krauser, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... a school of fish. This is... lovely. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? We're talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the pool. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is it normal yet, now? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. Catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Stop it. What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart that Androbot. A relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. <laughs> no luck. Oh, they're not in here. either. I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. A 
Positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. It worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. I should move. Oh, there's no time. Finally, it works. Crowter, five meters. Careful. No. No point in going back this way. <sighs> oh, I found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground. A large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes. It's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. Looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Crowther. But the doctor marked a waypoint. 
I don't recall... It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? I'll call them Titans. Has a nice ring to it. Noted. One more thing, Astrogator. The Titans are almost white, unlike the environments around them. Yes, thank you. That's valuable information. Be useful in navigating. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just... takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Oh, damn! I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here. Let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Got someone. I'm following the signal. on the ground. It's a journal. Geological. Cross-section. Measurements. These are Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly.
The signal's coming from the castle of Batpat. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Merit. Merit. 